so I have two different Goodwills that are within like a six to eight mile proximity of my house. Um, there's one that's just right up the road for me and then there's another one that's right by where I work. So um, I frequent those two a lot. So uh, I will show you what I got um, just the other day actually I went in and I had seen like you know how normally they'll have like a little holiday section. Um, they had like very little Halloween stuff. So first thing that I bought was this guy. Um, he even came with wax already melted inside of him. Um, he was 99 cents. So you obviously put a candle inside of him. I just thought he was cute. So I picked up him. Uh, this was just kind of hanging out by the register and I don't know really why but I thought it was um, also adorable so I got this guy here. Ah. It says here lies Harry Scary. So it's just like a skeleton leaning up against a tombstone with a jack-o'-lantern and I'm not really sure like what's up with his head. Um, I don't know if somebody like maybe had a candle in there and it melted or if there was like a top to it. I have no idea. But I thought that he was cute so I picked that guy up. I know, how many times am I going to say cute? Um, but yeah, I got him. This isn't necessarily Halloween related but I bought it because I figured it's something that I could use for Halloween. Uh, it's little like bronze pot. Um, it looked like a little witch's cauldron to me and I think this year for our haunt, um, at least for the inside, we are going to go with like a witch theme so I thought this would be perfect for um, like on the counter if I can put like uh, potions or something in it or um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet but this was two dollars. The next thing I picked up, I had seen it sitting on the shelf and I was like, holy shit, I don't even care how much this is, I'm going to buy it uh, because of what it was. And that was this guy. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but he has, um, it's a ghost. You see that. And you just put a candle inside of there. So he was $3. I couldn't pass him up. And this thing is like wicked heavy. Um, I don't know. There's a company, it's called Gallery. I've never heard of them, but I love all things ghosts. I like, you're probably going to see it like a theme. I love all the traditional Halloween stuff. So bats, ghosts, witches, skeletons, bats, bats again. Um, so yeah, of course I'd pick that up. The next thing that I got, um, this also caught my eye right away. I just picked this up like three days ago um, is this ceramic pumpkin and I don't know if this person made it but there's like a little you might be able to see it carving on the back it says to Mary from Sheila so Mary gave up a great present I don't know what the hell she was thinking but um, I love this, so thanks Sheila. And it comes with a topper. So we put a candle inside. I love all these things you can just put candles inside because I love the glow that they give off. Um, but I thought it was really good quality. It was made in uh, 82. So again, I don't know if she made this or she just painted it or whatever, but um, I love it because of how good the detail is on the pumpkin, it just looks realistic. So this was three dollars. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you isn't a Halloween related item either, um, but I picked it up because I know that it's something that I can upcycle, I guess, or change into something that I've been wanting to make. Um, and it's a gumball machine. It says Juicy Couture on it. This must have been like um, some sort of like promotional thing that they might have had going on. but. What I plan on doing with this is uh, painting it black or green or, you know, orange or something uh, and putting like eyeballs in there. So I figured it was something that would be easy to fix up and this was $3.
I have two more things from Goodwill. Um, this next item, I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy it. I know that my husband is kind of weird about this particular thing. Um, I'll just show you what it is. I found a homemade Ouija board. Um, it's made out of wood. Obviously it has two skeleton hands and then the letters and everything are just painted on there. Um, the only thing is though, I it didn't come with a planchette. It was just this by itself. So I thought it was really cool. Um, I haven't played Ouija since I was probably, oh, I don't know, like 13. But um, I figured if anything, I can use it as part of like um, one of my props that I'll be using or just to hang out in the background. So I picked this up. It was uh, $3. So I couldn't beat it. Um, but yeah, my husband was weird about me bringing it into the house for a while. It actually stayed down in our shed. I bought this at the end of last season, but I figured I'd show it to you because it was a great goodwill find. Um, and then I finally just brought it into the house. So that's a completely different topic that I'll talk about in one of my other videos. Um, and then the last thing that I bought is this. It is like an old antique kerosene fueled lantern and what I plan on doing with this it has a, a big handle up here and then just a little handheld one there um, I plan on making myself a full Grim Reaper so he will hold this and uh, my husband said that he can wire it up and make it electric instead of it being kerosene but I couldn't pass it up I mean the rust alone is pretty neat so I got that too uh, that was seven dollars and it's really disgusting and rusty um, so there's just two other things that I'm going to show you I figured I'd add them into this video instead of waiting until later um, my hallmark I just ran in there the other day to get a, heart, a card for somebody and they happen to have a little clearance bin right out front and I had noticed that it was black and orange so I had to look and see what it was and I couldn't uh, not get it. And again, this is something that I normally wouldn't buy, but um, I just loved it. So, oh, I just untied it. Okay. It says boo, and there's some bats. You can see from the place. Um, I thought it was neat though, because it's made of like metal. And then the orange parts are foam, and there's glitter on it. I guess I should go this way. I think it's out of focus. My camera, for some reason, like just will not autofocus. And then there's these little bows on the side. So um, it might not be something that I use in like the decorations that I put out all year round. Um, it might not even be something that I use to decorate even for Halloween, but I am in the process of getting together my craft room, which I'm sitting in right now. Um, I made this little backdrop. So this is gonna be like my little corner where I make videos, but my entire room is Halloween themed and I will do a craft room tour once it's done. It's just gonna be a while. But I figured like this is the kind of stuff that I'd like to decorate the room with. So yeah, and this was five bucks. Normally like $20. I would never pay $20 for this, but $5, you can't beat that. And the last thing I'm gonna show you, um, I had actually found this company on Instagram. The company name is Warship13. And I will put a link down to their website below. They have a store envy. Um, website so uh, I of course had to buy this because it's my life and ooh, I got disgusting stuff from that lantern okay um, it says every day is Halloween excuse the boobs and there's a scaredy cat on it like an old vintage Halloween cat 
so I had to get it. So then every day is Halloween, and that's my life. Um, actually, while I was, excuse me, while I was buying this guy, there was a guy behind me in line at Michael's, and he, like, just gave me this weird look, and he's like, uh, you know it's not Halloween, right? I said, sir, it's Halloween every day in my world. So, he just got a kick out of that. But, if the stores have it, then why wouldn't you buy it? At least that's the way that I look at it. And you know damn well that the stores are probably going to start putting all their Christmas stuff out and the Christmas trees will go up like mid-August. So the way that I look at it, you got to get it while it's there. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. You'd be pissed because it's happened to me every year. But I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope everybody has a spooky day. See ya!